Well, happening now, do you have any New Year's resolutions that you are trying out for 2024? I have so many. Yeah. I want to read more. I want to delete some social media. Dude, I can help you with that. I know. I read all the time. I have a whole bookshelf. Come over. You oh, can pick perfect. your own. Yeah. Book club. Bo me book and Carson's Club 2024. Let us know if you want to join our book club. Right? Looking forward to it. <laughs> well, here's a look at some of the most popular ones for this year. According to Statista, the most common response is saving more money. That's a good one. Right behind that is another big one, exercising more, then eating healthy, and another big one this morning, spending more time with friends and family. 13 News reporter Jack Cooper is at the Ringing in Hope 5K and 10K this morning. So Jack, what are some ways people can actually stay on top of their resolutions? Yeah, Carson and Anna, good morning. I'm told about half of people actually quit those New Year's resolutions by the end of January if they even make it that far. But don't lose hope now. There are some ways that you can make sure to hold yourself accountable. Now, some of those include don't be too picky about your goals. Actually, you should be too picky about your goals. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Set very specific goals, even for day-to-day -day things. Try something new that you haven't done before, and especially when it comes to exercising. Remember, it might take a while before you see some progress. It takes like 30 to 60 days to form a habit, so just get out there and create a routine is what's best. And um, you know, just, I, I know it's hard at first, but you know, you keep it up and there's lots of running groups. You'll make lots of new friends. There's so many health benefits. You'll sleep better, um, decreases stress. So, um, yeah, as long as they keep at it. Now, the Ringing in Hope uh, peg out run actually gets going at about 8 o'clock this morning. There's a 5K, there's a 10K, and there's a one-mile fun run as well. If you didn't sign up, uh, good news is you can still show up and be a part of it. Or if you just want to come out and support the runners, there's also going to be a lot of food vendors, a lot of music as well. Uh, and then there's also going to be $5,000 worth in raffle prizes that are going to be given away as well. For now, reporting live at the St. Phillips Plaza, I'm Jack Cooper.